What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports channel. Let's get right into it. Should the Cowboys cut or trade Amari Cooper? Um, that's a question to, to you guys, to the Cowboys fan, and to the NFL community as a whole. Should they trade or cut Amari Cooper? Me, personally, I will lean towards cut if they were to do something. Uh, they're they're going to try to trade him, obviously, but their contract is pretty massive. They're not going to get the... I don't think a team would take that on, on right away, to be honest. So I will lean towards cutting him and... You know, so if you were to cut them, which I do agree with, you know, I was on the fence before doing the video, but just looking to the numbers, looking to the how last year, last couple of years went, Cooper, he he tend he's very good, very very good, great route runner as y'all know, but he tends to fade, you know, and for number one receiver, he's labeled that on on this team, that's not gonna cut it, you know. Uh, so you can have CD move into his natural spot as a true number one guy. I did a video yesterday predicting Cedric Wilson, their slot cornerback who played well last year, Michael Gallup's absence. I have him, excuse me, I have him going to the Jaguars. Now, if they can get rid of Cooper, they can keep Wilson. He's not expensive at all. Wilson, I believe, should garner around six, seven, eight million dollars per year if you were to pay him you no know, two, three year deal. That's not bad. That's pretty uh, cheap for a, for a slot right receiver, a starting slot right, right receiver, if you let Gallup go as well. So that's not bad. You can pick up a, a, a veteran. Uh, you can pick up a young guy in the draft, you know, third, fourth round, and find good starting talent there as well. So, you know, David Bell, you know, something like, like that, second round maybe. So the Cowboys are in a good spot, you know. So letting Cooper go, if it were to happen, trade or cut, I'm cool with it. You know, um, you know, I think it, I, I think it is it is overdue, not overdue. I think it's the perfect time. I won't say it's overdue. Cause I think now, now the perfect time last year, you gave it a shot. I think last year was their best year. I made videos early in the season, week one. And I believe week three or four saying the Cowboys were the best team in football. This is their year, blah, blah, blah. End up not happening. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. Uh, I'm not even a Cowboys fan, but the way everything looked, the way the team was built, constructed, how they were playing, they played fantastic most of the year. I think it's fine. I think they were top notch last year. They just couldn't get it done. Obviously, lost in the first round. So, um, so the rumor is Cooper is on the block. The rumor is Dexter Lawrence could be traded or cut, probably cut as well because it's a big contract. I'm not mad at it. You know, it's time to. You know, those big contracts, if, if, if they don't work out, if you don't win the Super Bowls or go deep in the playoffs the first couple of years of the new big contracts, you know, it's time to get rid of them because they're going to get older. They're, they're both pushing 30, if not 30 already. So, you know, they're going to get, you, you would think, worse with, with uh, time, especially with Lawrence missing time last year because of the, the injury missed about five, six, seven weeks. Cooper, who tends to go missing in games time to time, you know, uh, he didn't even get a thousand yards last year. I believe around eight hundred yards. So, yeah, I, I'm cool with it. Uh, switch him out with Cedric Wilson. Pair the pair Lamb up with Wilson. Maybe bring back Gallup. Maybe not. Or with a couple of veterans and a young guy in the draft. That should be fine for the Cowboys. They should be right on track still. Maybe keep Dalton Schultz. We'll see what happens. But that's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.